And that was when Peter Romanov made his entrance, amid a loud hum of straining servo motors. Everyone turned to look as he stopped and posed in the doorway. He was wearing a massive exoskeleton, its metal bones surrounding and supporting him, while rectangular force fields buzzed angrily on both forearms. Come to me, monsters. I am your equal now. I am faster than any human muscle can drive a man, and my strength is as the strength of Dan, because my tech is pure. <laughs> I will rip your arms from their sockets, tear your heads from your shoulders, and my dogs shall feast on your entrails. Bowen was still trying to come up with a suitably elegant answer that didn't involve four-letter words when Hazel stepped forward. My turn. You're not hogging all the fun, Deathstalker. Be my guest. Hazel strode over to the waiting Romanoff and stopped a careful distance just outside his arm's reach. Other Hazels flickered in and out of existence around her, but she pushed them firmly away. She wanted to do this herself. She had had a really amusing idea, and she had no intention of sharing the fun with anyone else, even other versions of herself. She holstered her projectile weapons and smiled nastily at the Romanoff, who stirred uneasily. Whatever response he'd expected, being faced with bare hands and blatant self-confidence certainly wasn't one of them. Unhurried, Hazel reached out to the abandoned meals on the table beside her and picked up a ripe piece of fruit. She crushed it in her hand so that thick pulp and juice leaked through her fingers. And then she threw the sticky mess at the Romanoff. Her arm snapped forward with more than human force and speed, and the fruit shot past his defenses before he could even raise his shielded arms. It struck home with perfect accuracy, right at the heart of the exposed servo motors on the Romanoff's left arm, and made a wonderful mess of the gears. The Romanoff yelled in outrage and surged forward, moving horribly quickly for someone of his size and weight. Hazel hopped up onto the table and darted back out of reach of his arms. She snatched up more of the abandoned food, crushed it in her hands, and threw it with devastating accuracy. The Romanoff whirled his force shields desperately back and forth, but it was no match for her speed and reflexes. More of his servo motors failed him. The Romanoff grabbed the heavy table with both hands and overturned it with one swift movement. Hazel launched herself from the table, tucked into a somersault in midair, and landed on the Romanoff's shoulders. Her legs wrapped around his neck and squeezed. His face went bright red, and he couldn't get his breath. He started to raise his hands to tear her from him, but Hazel grabbed his exposed head in a vice-like grip. Let us understand each other. You annoy me, and I am going to rip your head off your shoulders. And your servo motors are so gummed up now that you have an open hell of getting to me before I do it. Clear? The Romanov considered the matter. Above the buzzing of his force shields, he could clearly hear more motors shorting out. And he was going to have to breathe really soon now. He shut down his force shields and smiled hopefully at Owen. <coughs> I'd really like to surrender now. Please, 